Hey Albert, hey track fans, how are you guys doing? Happy New Year. So here's a new video, it's how to paint figurines. There's proper introduction coming in a moment, but quick director's interjection. I just wanted to let you know that this is going to be a two-parter. So tune in very soon for the second part. Here comes the first part. Enjoy track fans. Morning Albert, morning track fans, a happy new year to you guys, I hope you're having a great start to the new year. Well, welcome to the video this, uh, for this offering and what we're going to do is something a little bit different, we've not done this before, it's going to be amazing. So, my wife kindly got me some extra little bits for uh, Christmas to build up my Skeletric scenery with. We've got plenty of track going on now, we've got some nice cars on the garage. Uh, we've got good barriers and lots of bridge supports. I'll try and maybe make a few spectators here. So here's uh, the first one. So I'll hold this in the right place for you to have a good look. He's a nice chap. He's got a can of drink. He got uh, looks like an access all areas pass. So we're gonna put him there. What else have we got in the bag? Oh, we've got a lady. I think she's also spectating. She's got a drink as well. And we're going to paint her. Oh. I think they've had too much drink, to be honest with you. They've fallen over already. So what we'll do is they give you these, uh, it's quite handy, like tiddlywinks, if you're old enough to remember those. That's going to be a stand. Not Custer's last stand, but a stand where these will be fixed to, with super glue. And then this guy here, again, He's got a drink, a pass, and looking good. So there you go. So what we're gonna do is move on. First thing you've got to do is you've got to clean them. So I'll give them a clean in a second. I'm not gonna record that, it's like sucking eggs. Um, but then we need to prime them. And I do have a primer right here. As you can hear, there you go. You've got to give it a good shake. So, I'll move over now, set this up for a prime, show you how to prime the characters and then we'll move into painting from there. Right, see you in a moment. Okay, we're back. As you can see, I've got the primer, I've given it a protective case. You can use a newspaper or an old magazine. I've just got a bit of old templating material. If you work with stone or tiles, then you might know what this is. But anyway, enough of that already. Hold the spray a little bit away from it. Firstly, I forget myself. If you're quite, if you're a little bit young, then go and get help from an adult, okay? You should do this in a well-ventilated area. What you can't see behind me is my garage door is wide open. So here we go. Hold it away about this far, about there, and give it an even spray. It should be fine. That literally is it. Okay. Perfect. Maybe a little bit more on that one. Lovely. So, we're going to let that dry. Okay, good. Once that's done, we we'll turn it over. And then we'll do the, ba the uh, back of them. A nice even spray. There you go. Lovely. Don't need too much because as the paint sits on there, it'll work its way into the little nooks and crannies on its own. If you do too much, you get too, I don't know, it's a little bit sort of mm, patchy. It's probably a good way to describe it. You get little heavy patches and uh, it makes it more difficult to paint evenly afterwards. But anyway, let's let that dry and um, then we'll move on again. Okay, so. Albert, track fans, we've moved up to the kitchen in the house. So there might be some commotion in the background, but that's to be expected. Here we go. Uh, I'm just going to crack on now, listen to the music, see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> 